to work out at the gym it sounds so simple but i'm gonna give you guys some tips especially if you have anxiety or you are afraid to go to the gym and <laughs> i know people are like well, that sounds weird but i got so many dms some people saying they don't like going to the gym they're afraid to go to the gym so i'm like you know what I'm going to give you some tips on what helps me go to the gym. Maybe it can help you as well. And also, I'm going to give you some tips about losing weight. I'm going to throw all of it together. So first, <laughs> let me say this, how important the gym is. Well, let me rephrase. If you can't afford the gym membership, it, mine is about $10 a month. They have an option at Planet Fitness. I like Planet Fitness because so that's where I go. It's affordable and all that good stuff. But... If you can't afford that, you can work out at home. You can work out just walk around the block of your neighborhood. Now, if you do too much cardio without building muscle, you will start, especially if you were heavy, you'll start having saggy skin. So that's why you just start lifting the weights. That's why I like the gym. So basically, you can't do too much cardio. That's basically it. You cannot do too much cardio if you don't want saggy skin, especially if you were heavier. That's the key. That's the key point. And I do want to add this, if you change your eating habits, the first week you will see a little change in your body. No one else will see it, but they will be like, huh, something's different about you. About a week or two later, if you being consistent, they're going to start noticing it. But the first thing when you lose the weight will go is your face, and it goes, like, it goes down like this. But I think everybody's body is different because, of course, I have a round face. Everything's... <laughs> let me let me not say that but i have a round face so when i gain weight you can tell my face will get so big the shoulders and all that but yeah all right let's just get to the social anxiety i said if you're just starting working out i do not suggest to lift weights so like the first couple weeks do cardio you do not want to build muscle on top of fat so you want to lower your body fat and then add muscle to it so after we do all that now you can jump into this video or <laughs> into my tips so, first thing you need to remember is no one really cares what you're doing. No one really cares what you're doing at the gym. I know a lot of people are worried, like, oh, people are going to stare at me. What if I'm not doing the machines right? Blah, 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 blah. No one cares. And then if you think about if somebody's trying to, like, talk to you, try to get your number, uh, that may happen. Sometimes, half the time, the guys are really not focused on you. They focus on themselves. And usually all the little cute all the cute guys are in the what's it called? Like where the all the mirrors are and the Smith machine, all that pop the popular machines. Guys use you over there anyway, so they're not really focused on you. Some part checks your attention, but it's not like what you think, like, oh my god, you know. And I'm I know a lot of people think like, okay, I don't want to see any cute guys. Yeah, it's okay. They don't care. Everyone has a main the main goal and it's to lose weight. So my suggestion before you even get inside the gym is to have a playlist prepared. A playlist. So the playlist will get you in the mood when you want to dance. That's how my playlist is. And my playlist fits me perfect. It fits me perfect for my workout routine. And like like I said, just listen to that music. It makes me want to makes me motivated so make sure you have a playlist prepared it depends on your vibe you want r&b you want the turn up type of music whatever you want to listen to make sure you have that ready before you go inside the gym okay and, and also <laughs> make sure your ear if you have ear pods i don't suggest having ear pods though i don't suggest ear pods the the earphones that i use they're connect i don't know the name of it but it's connected but I have to show you a picture <laughs> because I don't even know, but it works perfect. But the only reason I say I don't have AirPods is because it's easy to drop one. You know what I mean? So those big cute ones, I'm frugal. I'm not paying for it. It's like $500. I'm not paying for that. <laughs> but those are so cute. I think those girls wear those are so cute. And also, make sure you, well, you don't have to, but for me, I love having new clothes like having this nice clothes to work out that makes me want to work out even more as well and also i'm frugal like i said i'm frugal so the clothes the workout clothes i'll be finding usually are like 10 10 20 dollars good price and they look cute so having a cute little two-piece set working out is a plus so we got all that done 
with the outfit, we get your music playlist now. Before you even start working out, I suggest to go to the restroom. Or well, I mean the locker. Go to the locker, decompress, breathe, relax, and prepare yourself. So that's what I usually do. I just go in there. <laughs> I usually I get content too. And I put my hair up, I'm relaxed, and then I start my workout. So I should just try it too. Just to calm down you know get a feel especially if it's your first time and you're first going to the gym do that first so after you calm down and all that let's talk about what should you do first i suggest to do cardio first cardio so before i should do about 30 minutes on the treadmill with the high incline but i don't run i always say that i do not run i like to do a fast paced walk and this has been working for me but now i'm at my goal well, I'm not my goal weight, but I've been dropping. I feel like I'm losing weight too fast. And like I said, I don't like doing anything. I don't want anything fast. Okay, I want it at a nice pace. So I cut down on my cardio. So I do about 10 to 15 minutes on the treadmill. And it depends. It depends, especially if after a cheat meal. You guys know I still indulge in cheat meals. I'll do more or less of cardio. It depends. And also... When you go to the gym, make sure you have a plan. So, for instance, one day you want to work out your legs and calves. That's for that day. The following day you want to work out upper body. And then, like, on Fridays do full body. Make sure you have a plan as well for that. And if you're doing your lower body, I don't suggest doing, like, the Stairmaster or elliptical machines. Because that, I feel like it's too, too much stress on your body. That's just personal opinion. So your plan, you want to work out your upper body, lower body. I also have videos on each of that body part if you guys want to watch that. <laughs> now, if you're not comfortable using the machines there, I like to go in the little stretching area. I don't know why I just did that. <laughs> I like to go in the stretching area and that's where I do a lot of my workouts and I just grab some dumbbells and get and get it in there if you don't feel comfortable using the machines and also on each machine it has a picture of how to use that machine and also if you don't like a lot of people at the gym there's two times of the of, out of the day you should go early morning or late at night those are the two best times if you don't want to be around a lot of people those are the best times and like I, right now it's late it's almost midnight i'm about to go to the gym yes i know it's late <laughs> but those are the two hot spots to, to go to the gym so that's it that is basically it on i don't know i'm naming this video but like social anxiety if you afraid of the gym or that's basically it those are my tips on working out at the gym and if I'm just saying for you, just to do it. Just go.